G'day everyone, joined by David at Euroa this morning where we take a look at our runners this coming Saturday. Uh, let's kick off in Sydney where we have two runners in the Group 1 Sydney Cup. The first is boom time for Corey Parrish in gate 11. I think the outside gate will be an advantage for him. He, he goes on the sticky ground. He's very fit. Not particularly well weighted under the conditions of this new race. But uh, it, with the way he won last start, he'll make his own luck. He'll race on the pace. And he'll be very competitive. And we also have Harlem for Chad Schofield, gate nine. Yes, this horse is a genuine uh, elite mile and a half, two mile horse. Um, we've stretched his training out since the Queen Elizabeth. Um, the ground was a bit sticky and, it, and being a handicapper against Winks just didn't suit him. Out to two miles, his form could really improve and um, his condition is very good for the race. And with the improving track, Hopefully, that'll really suit him as well. He didn't like the wet ground in the Queen Elizabeth. Back to Caulfield, closer to home. He, our first runner comes up in race three, which is the Vobus Gold Mile. Uh, we've got a horse having its first start for the stable. Charlevu for Luke Nolan. Yeah, he's a, a, a an interesting young stayer that I think will probably find the mile too sharp. But look for him running on and look for him when he's at 2,000 metres and beyond. On to race five. For two-year-olds, it's the Vobus Sires, over 1,200 metres. Uh, two runners again. The first is Pure Scott for Dwayne Dunn. Yeah, uh, in really good order. Terrific run at Bendigo and looks like she's improved. Well-placed in a competitive little race. And we have a debutante by Wanted out of Rock Diva, a filly, uh, to be ridden by Luke Nolan uh, called Wanted Diva. Yes, uh, a horse that will just get better with racing. Uh, it's... First trial at Flemington was excellent, and we took a chance rather than give another trial. We thought we'd uh, test the waters in a three hundred thousand dollar race. Uh, it's got plenty of talent. This one on to race six is the Vobus Gold over fourteen hundred metres. We have the ever consistent Devilishly for Dwayne Dunn, Gate One. Look, we we were tempted to go right back in class just to get her to win. She's been placed nine times this preparation, but we thought with the Vobus Gold on offer against the girls fourteen hundred blinkers on. Let's give it a try. I'd say very confident she can run a place and it'll be just a thrill to break through. In the listed Bellisbury Stakes over 1,100 metres, we've got Fartana. Yes, yeah, at the same track and distance as the Oakley Plate where he was runner-up and he's in very good form, so I think he can run well. On to race eight, which is a Vobus Gold Sprint over 1,200 metres. We have Miss Promiscuity for Caitlin Megan Gate 3. Yes, Miss Prom um, getting ready for the uh, Robert Sangster in Adelaide. Uh, we'd love to see her competitive. She's carrying good condition, and uh, whatever she does, she'll be improved on. But I would say she'll run, be in front for a long time with the blinkers on. Across to Adelaide in the opening race for two-year-olds over 1,050 metres, we have Outboard Motors. I think she's a classy filly that when she gets longer, she might be group class. So sometimes these fillies can sprint well fresh, but look for her running on. Uh, race four, over 1,200 metres. We've got last start winner Sullivan Bay for Mitch Aitken. Uh, yes, uh, comes in incredibly well with the claim. I wouldn't worry about the wide barrier because she strides forward and makes her own luck. Um, she's a mare in form. Race seven, over 1,800 metres, the Group 3 event, the Aurora Stakes. Uh, we've got two runners. The first is Sebring Dream for Jason Holder. Yes, yeah, she um, wasn't quite suited by the firm track at Caulfield the other day, but still ran a good fourth. The 1800 will suit. Um, I, I, I think she'll run a good race. And we also have Domesticated for Mitch Aiken, gate eight. Yeah, she ran a slasher for it to get the black type last start, running third from right out of the race. She may not get as far back, got a decent gate this time. Um, I think she's going to run well again at big odds. And have you got a best bet for us on Saturday? I'm really keen on Fatna, back to the Oakley Plate track and distance. Thanks, David.